Well, Lou Klein was the first producer of Bandstand, as it was called, here in Philadelphia for WFIL in the late 50s, uh, before it went national and became American Bandstand. He has a long connection with Temple. He's been an adjunct faculty member here for over 30 years and uh, just a significant broadcast pioneer in the Philadelphia region ever since really the start of television here in the region. So he uh, decided that he wanted to make sure his legacy was preserved and he donated many hundreds of photographs and letters and other material to us at the research center so that we can preserve it for research use. Bandstand was uh, sort of the in program of the of the age. It introduced new artists and songs to high school students and uh, got the music scene started in many ways for Philadelphia and the nation. Uh, back then there wasn't a lot of television so this was what every high school kid watched when they went home from school and uh, a lot of the high school kids in Philadelphia lined up to to dance on the show to try to get in. And uh, Lou and FIL and Dick Clark conceptualized that that whole uh, program and, and made it a national phenomenon. Well, we got the equivalent of about 10 to 12 filing cabinet drawers of photographs, letters, uh, magazines, newspaper clippings, all the material that documents Lou's work over his long career. And uh, we'll digitize some of it and make it available on our website. And the rest of it will be available for research use for students and scholars here in the libraries.